Welcome back, my YouTube family. Abort. 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 Do not throw away your Keurig because it does not uh, disperse the coffee like it used to. Also, if you got a cracked reservoir, whatever the case is, give the Keurig a chance in your house. Do not throw it away. I come home and got ready to make me a cup of coffee and the coffee maker was in the garbage. <laughs> it was, that's how the reservoir got cracked. It was it, the reservoir got cracked because it was in the garbage. So I salvaged it, cleaned it up, and we're gonna try to get this Keurig to work again. I'll show you exactly what it does when you try to brew a cup of coffee. And it does nothing. So you can hear the pump pumping, um, but just no coffee is coming out. Well, look, we got a couple of drips. Look at that. Oh, we got some drips. <laughs> yep, that's not going to work. So, um, yeah, that's the issue. Um, unplug this. And let's get ready to take it apart. So I turned it on this side to get a better look as far as what was going on under the hood. And there's two screws on the top. And that two, those two screws look like it would take off this top piece where we should be able to see some holes in under there. So let's do that. And these screws definitely look like they'll fall. Yeah, I'm getting a little movement, so let me try to keep that in the hole. All right. That was easy. Nancy in there, but um, that's the needle, and that needle goes up, and I can already see all of that coffee, that coffee in there, so we need to clean that out. Look like it's just two screws that you need to take that off, and everything else kind of might fit on there. Kind of like stick that in there, kind of pry that up. Yeah. Okay, so that was just a holder. There we go. Same thing here. It looks like this piece just hold that on. I'm going to try to pry that back. Okay, so that's what you got. You rinse that out. Okay, I rinse that out. Got the coffee out of it. Next thing, probably going to need to poke holes in here. Let's see. in this needle and then the last needle is where the cup is at you can kind of see it there like right there I don't have a bread towel but I think a bread towel would probably be ideal to get in there and stick stick in there to clean that out 
But yeah, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to turn on the coffee maker just to make sure that's a, this is squirting good. If it is, then we know that that's where the clock was at. Okay, it's saying it's ready to brew. Let's see what we got here. So I am going to hit that. Get my little cup. Oh yeah, that's coming out. I didn't think this through. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's coming out good. <laughs> So, uh, oh, hey, trying to, okay, I can turn this off. Okay, so we know it's pumping good. We cleaned off this piece, so now I'm going to reattach uh, this back onto there and clean that out. I put some uh, toothpick and stuff in there. I got that cleaned out and it cleaned out the bottom needle, so it should be good to go now. Unplug it and put it all back together. Before I put the cap back on, I want to make sure that um that we got flow. So oh, there we go. <laughs> So satisfying. Now I'm gonna take all the way through to flush out all the little grinds and stuff that I might have put in there. But yeah, that's it. Let's put it back together. Probably best to put this on first. Okay, kind of got to squeeze that. Squeeze it, then get it in there. Put the screws in there, then bring this up. And sort of align your screw with the hole. So the next thing we're gonna do is take care of these cracks. We got a crack in the front, we got a crack on the side. And the plan is basically just to melt this together using good old solder and iron. This one is 30 to 35 watt. Um, so yeah, you can see it's pretty, pretty substantial crack. But um, we're gonna see how this is gonna work. Should work just fine. You gotta be careful not to burn a hole in it. I'm going to go over it one more time. Then I'm going to do the front. Just got to be careful not to burn a hole through it. All right. 
not the prettiest thing in the world, but <laughs> definitely fixed the cracks. So we're gonna see now, fill this up with water and see if it leak. All right. Looks like we got a little, little water coming out right there. And on this side, nothing. So I need to fix crack right in there. So even though I did fix the reservoir, kind of ugly, but I was looking on, um, I was looking on eBay and even on Amazon, and you can buy these replacement reservoirs for about thirty dollars. Um, so if you don't have a solder and I, then definitely check out a um, replace replacement reservoir. I'm thinking maybe in a future video I'll do something where this is automated, where it automatically fills with water. And so um, stick around for that video. But yeah, I'm going to see what the missus has to say about this whole project. So there you have it. Um, simple fix, um, but the plastic, melting the plastic, that's kind of genius, yeah. Hey babe! Let's see, let's see what she say. Hey babe! Yeah! Come here! Hey! Come here! Let's see, let's see. Let's see what she say. Come here! Babe, come here. <laughs> and then you was recording. Yeah, come here. Florida. Yeah, come here. Make a cup of coffee. <laughs> Ain't this thing leaking? Yeah. Well. Oh, well. And it, and it, um. Was it ready to grow? It didn't work. Yeah. Make your cup. Right. Seriously. Make your cup. I don't know where to stay. <laughs> I know good well. She looks so brand new though. But this is plastic. Mm-hmm. You know you can't put glue on that. I didn't put glue on it. I ain't put glue that on it. That looks like glue. That's not. Like, like glue. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you know how, if this works? God, it's working. <laughs> it's working. Like it's not going to leak nothing. Nope. It's fixed. And well, you, she and you, you threw it in the garbage. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait. I'm excited about this cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I really appreciate you all sticking around for this video. If you haven't liked the video, then make sure you like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, check out Sharon She's So Fabulous channel as well. She has a bunch of DIYs, home decor, all type of cool stuff on her channel. Until the next time. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>